Often it's faster and easier to use an application or a feature in an application if you can see a demonstration of it first. That's the purpose of this video. It's to show you how to use places in iPhoto. This is a screen of photos, some of which have had keywords assigned, others not. Let's click on this photo and notice when I hovered over the photo the small I appeared in the bottom corner. Let's click on that I. Now we can assign a place to that photo. Now I happen to know that close to this place is a harbor called Brennan B-R-E-N-N-A-N -N Harbor and this is in Canada. So I click, I type that in, but you'll notice as I was typing it below the box it has a little uh, pop-up that says Find Brennan Harbor Canada on Map. I'm going to select that. Now the computer goes to work looking for a spot and ah, it finds it. Let's switch it to a hybrid view so we can see some of the terrain. Now this isn't the exact location of that photo but I can move it on the screen to where it is taken. And this is very simple. I grab the pin and I move it to where it is and I click assign to photo and there it is. Now I happen to know that that's called Shupak Cove but there isn't a location in uh, the search feature to find that. Now we click done and it's been assigned. It's also easy to assign multiple photos to the same location. All you would have to do would be to click on all the photos that uh, fit that location and assign it to one and it will automatically assign it to all of them. Let's do something a little different now. Let's go to places. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'm going to do successive clicks here until we get down to a close-up view a little farther. And I'm going to click on this one, Ludington. And what we'll see are some pictures taken in Ludington and this particular one is a picture of a lighthouse. I know exactly where that is so I'm going to click on this and this has been assigned but it's not exactly assigned where it is. It's uh, sort of in the wrong place. So just to show you the precision that you can use to assign the pinpoints, let's click on Ludington and I'm going to go down and say find Ludington on the map. This gives me a chance to edit it. You have to go to that first now I happen to know that that lighthouse is right out here. It's right on the tip. And to show it to you, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And you can actually make out the lighthouse on the very end of the pier there. And since I can be that precise, I'm going to zero this down and say that's the lighthouse. And then I'm going to click on Assign to Photo. And it's done. Now in the future, when I go to the map, for Ludington and I zoom down and click on the Ludington map it's going to show me that exact location for that photo. Hopefully that gave you some ideas on how to do this and you can do it yourself quickly and easily. Thank you for watching.